first consonant. And there was a teacher. I know who it was. There was a teacher who wasn't the same teacher, but she had taught with me at the, at the same time. She smiled when I said that because she remembered the teacher who argued with me about it. So the teacher said, B. And I said to the teacher, somebody said E already. She said, I said B. I said, someone said E already. And we did that two or three times. I said, now, sister, all we're trying to show you is that you couldn't say that letter except that you add a vowel sound with it. I said, now, now I'm sorry, I'm redoing this. Now y'all want me to qualify myself to be the teacher? Ask me to say the first consonant in the English language. Come on, ask me out loud. That's it. You missed it? I'm like, well, how did I live? I'm too fast for you. <laughs> I'll do it again. I don't have to say E from there. I can say boo. I can say bad. I can say bay. I don't have to say E from there. She went to that same position and then said E. B. So you can't even say the point I'm making, you can't even say the names of the consonant letters except that you add a vowel, either before or after it. Either before or after it. H, you add an A eh before you get to it. Okay. So that, that was the point. So now we're going to do this. For you, okay? We got to put the dot there. That's the first syllable, zoo. All right? Then the next syllable is, I'm sorry, the first syllable is zui, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, I heard you, brother. Let's say. Zui, why? Wow, because there's two of these. So the first one goes with this, zui. And then I'm going to skip a big space. I'm not going to put it in my mouth, skip a big space. So that's one syllable. The only reason why I separate is because this will, this will not accept the connection on its left. So this is one syllable. But this one, not, you know, even up here, is not not accept, not connected. All right. So now we got two of these. The other one's gonna go like this. Ye. All right. And then na. So that's now. Let that make that plain to you now, brother man. All right. In other words, no. This does not have to have a, a vowel on it. It can have a sakun on it. Okay. In this case, we have two of them, and the first one has a sakun on it. By the way. That any time you see a shat dad, that's what it is telling us. The shat dad is telling us that you have two letters, and the first one is sakun. And the second one will have whatever vowel that is going with that shat dad. But those two letters, the first one is sakun, which means what? It has to be pronounced with whatever came before it. Whether it was in another word or in the same word. In this case, it's in the same word, so it's got to be pronounced with the oo. All right? Over here, we had it in the, at the end of another word. But it's still, it, because we had a shat there on the wall, then we had to go back and pronounce it with this. All right? Okay. So, zui, zui, yi, na. Three syllables. Zu, zui, yi, na. Zui, yi, na. All right? All right. Let's clear that up now, brother, man. All right. Now, let's show you one with ui. And I searched hard. I'm trying to look to see that I, I searched hard. Let me just go right down this whole list on this card. I don't think that was the only one that I found where it was actually where the ui was in a word. And you know, just just everywhere else I found examples, it was with the at the end of a word and it would join with the next word. All right. Okay. So I'm looking at at least what I at least what I have here on. I'm not saying that there are no more words. But this is the only one that I found, and it's not a slang word. It is a Quranic word, all right? That's why I like to, I met a little, uh, I didn't meet him, but I've been seeing him, didn't just meet him, a little uh, uh, Arabic-speaking young man, very young man, teenager. And someone had told them that I taught Arabic. And he was all smile. And I said, but not conversational Arabic. He went like, huh? No, Quranic Arabic. I'm sharing with you, so don't come up to me holding a conversation in Arabic. I'm not conversing, all right? All right. I can't conversate nor converse with you in Arabic. I can understand some of what you're saying, but what I'm, the point I'm making is that I'm not fast enough with it. And the reason why it's important for you to know that because conversational Arabic has quite a few differences between, so far, between this standard. This is the classic Arabic, all right? Okay.
Now we got that out there, though. Because I know some have been threatened. I'm going to catch him in. I'm going to say something real fast. And, see if he, and I might say, huh? Hey, Jack, what's up? <laughs> All right. My interest has always been just in, in the crime. And I, I might as well share this with you, because I think we're going to be able to do this on time. Uh, I never addressed the conversational Arabic because I had seen something that Imam Muhammad referred to as Arabism. Any of y'all remember that when you talk about Arabism? It's akin to racism. Yes. If I speak Arabic, I am superior to you. Yes. So we have that kind of a notion. I, I wouldn't even su su submit to it. You know, a brother said to me one day that it was snowing outside. I said, I don't know. I knew what he was saying, but I said, I don't know. He was at a service station there in Forest City, Arkansas. I don't know. He said, I'm Muslim. I said, now, I was said, I'm a Muslim. But I don't have to tell you about the snow in Arabic. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll talk to you about the snow in Arabic. Okay. Okay, so now we want to do one where we have the, uh, the, uh, Okay. Okay, let's do this. Do this one. A I L I I'm doing this because we should be familiar with this word Eileen, right? Eileen. Anybody know what that word means? Eileen. Have any idea? I leave one. No? Okay, well, it has to do with knowing, all right? Knowledge. And the un, by the, uh, that's the other thing I didn't tell you. The un, at the end of the words, is used to indicate that it is one of many. Is one of, you know, well, this is an attribute of Allah, but it has L in from El Eileen. El Eileen, all right? This is Ali Mun, meaning one of many. There are many Eileen. Right? So the ten wing, whether it's Fatatain, Kesratain, or Dhammatain. All I did was name the three different types. This is Dhammatain, means Dhamma, and you double it. Dhammatain. Tain means two, all right? Fatatain, Fatta. So it's two of them, Fatatain. Kesratain means two of them, all right? So in the, in the Dhammatain, uh, if it's Dhamma, it means that it's nominative. This is extra information here for you. If it's Dhamma, well, there's. Uh, 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 ten ween or whether it's just the vowel at the end of a vowel word it means that it is nominative meaning it's naming it if it is kesra or kesratain it means that it is possessive it's talking about something that is own own you all understand what I'm talking about here at the end whether this is un or u it's going to indicate that this is in the nominative case meaning I'm naming it just as we, as we named the sister over here, sister Zubaydah, it would be sister Zub, it would be Zubaydah Tun. I mean, it's not we name it, okay? All right, but we don't pronounce that. We don't. If it's at the end of the statement, we don't pronounce the last vowel, okay? All right. So now, Ali Mun, uh, Ali Wui. Okay, so we will get. Okay. All right. What do we have here? We have a word. I already told you that was one word, right? We have a word that begins with the with the uh, uh, shadda, which means that it has to be pronounced together. So instead of this just being pronounced ali mun, it's mali muya tasu ya tasu ali mui. Ali mui, reduce this from un to u. Ali mui, ya. Ali mui, ya. Tasu, ya. Tasu, ya. Tasu. All right? All right. Uh, let me move quickly here. How's my time? I'm, I'm out. <laughs>
<laughs> he, did, he was supposed to say something to give me a three or two or something. I'll, let me just at least show it. Let me, okay. All right, let me just show you that it, this, this other vow. Ew. Okay, I'll just at least give you the example or without any further explanation. I'll give you the example. Okay, so ew is another uh, 